My name is Gaurav and I'm a founding engineer and product manager at Hedwig. Today, I'll give you a quick introduction of Hedwig and run through a small demo. So what is Hedwig? Hedwig is a two-tier, truly software-defined storage solution. Hedwig is built on a scale-out software architecture, which can run on any commodity hardware. Hedwig is flexible enough to accommodate any of the primary and secondary enterprise workloads. Hedwig consolidates and virtualizes all your storage resources and provides a simple and easy to use virtual disk abstraction. These virtual disks are thinly provisioned and you can create as big a virtual disk as you want. Also, there is no limit on how many virtual disks you can create using Hedwig cluster. Hedwig provides a native multi-site replication which means for data protection, you don't need any third-party tools to make copies of your data across different locations or sites. You can enable this feature at the granularity of virtual disk to protect certain volumes across different locations. There are no single points of failure because Hedwig not only spreads the data across the cluster, even metadata is completely distributed across the entire cluster. Hedwig also provides programmable REST-based APIs to simplify and completely automate your entire storage operations. Hedwig provides application awareness. For example, if you have a virtualized infrastructure and you're running large number of virtual machines, when any of these virtual machines migrate from one location to another, Hedwig storage will be seamlessly available without any external intervention. With Hedwig, you can bring in any hardware of your choice or any cloud vendor as well, whether it's AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. Hedwig can provide block storage, NFS storage, and object storage as well, which means we can support any workload, whether it's databases, backups, or any other big data use case. Hedwig's cluster can seamlessly grow at the unit of one storage server at a time. You do not need to over provision storage capacity by bulky storage arrays or rip and replace any of your existing infrastructure. Hedwig's distributed storage platform can not only survive disk failures, but storage node failures and even entire data center or public cloud failure as well. With Hedwig, your virtualized and containerized environments can seamlessly coexist. You do not need to look for different solutions for container-specific storage or even backup-only storage solutions. For your virtualized environments, Hedwig can work with any hypervisor, whether it's VMware, Hyper-V, or KVM. For your containerized environments, Hedwig has direct integrations with container orchestrators such as Docker, Kubernetes, and Mesosphere. For your backup workloads, Hedwig provides net backup integration and can be consumed as backup target for any backup application. Hedwig can also provide end-to-end -end backup solution for your virtualized applications. With Hedwig, you can completely avoid storage silos for your disparate applications. So this was a quick introduction of Hedwig. Now, let's move on to the demo. This is Hedwig UI, which shows one of the Hedwig cluster installations that spans across multiple data centers. This Hedwig UI has two main tabs, one cluster watch and the second one virtual disk management. Let's start with cluster watch. This cluster spans across three data centers, SNC1, SNC2, and SNC3. Each data center has three storage nodes attached to them. So in total, there are nine storage nodes in this cluster. You can also see the cluster size and the use space. You can also click on any one of these storage nodes and visualize all the physical disks that exist in that particular storage node. Internally, we combine multiple physical disks and create storage pools. You can click on any one of these storage pools and look at what exact data that exists in that particular storage node. And you can do the same for any of the storage nodes in 
the entire cluster. You can also click on any one of these storage proxies and look at all the virtual disks that are assigned to this particular storage proxy. You can also visualize all the IO metrics corresponding to each and every one of these virtual disks. You can look at throughput, you can look at latencies and the IOPS as well. Now let's move on to virtual disk management. Here you can see all the virtual disks that are created in this Hedwig cluster. To create a new virtual disk, you click on add disk, give this disk a name, give it a size, select what kind of disk you want to create, whether it's block or NFS. For object storage, you can utilize any of the standard APIs such as S3 CLI to consume Hedwig as object storage. And then you have a lot of optional policies that you can select for this virtual disk. You can select deduplication for this virtual disk, which means all blocks of data corresponding to this virtual disk will be globally deduplicated across the entire Hedwig cluster. So for example, if you create 10 Hedwig disks and enable deduplication on only eight of them, all the data corresponding to eight of those virtual disks will be globally deduplicated and rest of the two virtual disks, the data will be stored separately and won't be considered as part of deduplication. You can also enable encryption for this virtual disk and Hedwig will make sure your data is encrypted in flight, in use, and at rest as well. Then there are certain policies that you can select for enhancing the performance of this virtual disk. One of them is residence. You can have combination of hard disk and flash in your storage nodes and you can select residence as flash if you want all of your data corresponding to this virtual disk to do reside in flash devices instead of hard disk. So that's one option you can select at per virtual disk level. And then there is client side caching. Hedwig can utilize flash device in your compute instances to store data as well as metadata and enable your applications to run at the speed of local flash devices. Then there is replication policy and replication factor. For data production, there are different replication policies that Hedwig provides, agnostic, data center aware, and rack aware. When you select agnostic, Hedwig will make sure different copies of your data are stored in different storage nodes based on capacity of the entire cluster and how the data is laid out in the entire cluster at any given point of time. You can also select data center aware and Hedwig will make sure blocks of your data are replicated across storage nodes in different data centers and you are protected even if the entire data center goes down. The third option is rack aware and Hedwig will make copies of your data across different racks and prevent you from rack failures as well. Now let's select data center aware policy for this virtual disk and I will select all the data centers in this cluster so that copies of my data exist in each and every data center and then click run. Next step in consuming this newly created virtual disk is to add a LUN you can select any one of these storage proxies based on where you want your application to run. And once you have done that, that particular storage proxy will start acting as an iSCSI target for this virtual disk. And then you can provide access to the client where you want your application to run. And once you have done that, this virtual disk will show up as an iSCSI device and you can start consuming it as a local disk. Now let's go over similar steps for creating a new NFS disk. Give it a name, a size, select disk type as NFS, and then you need to add export using one or more of Hedwig storage proxies. And once you have done that, those storage proxies will start acting as NFS servers for this new disk. So this is it for the demo. I hope you were able to get an overview of Hedwig and how simple it is to consume. Thanks.